Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode adventure. Today is the day that we're going to go and get the White Western Star. We've been talking about it for a while. Now we're going to go and do it. So I am thinking I might as well hmm, take this trailer down with me. I'm going to take the trailer down and do all the repairs that I can down there. There's me hoping I'm taking the right route. I am. Yep, fix the rubber. That's where we're going. We will, uh, yeah, do the repairs. I might, I might bring the scout down to put a little bit of fuel in, or I might fuel off. Fill off the uh, the P16. We've just gone completely off the track. I think no, we're not. We're going the right way. That's all right. Ooh. A little bit nervous after the last couple of hours. Can't lie. We are just going. Gravity is uh, two of the work for us, apparently. Easy down, difficult up. That's the thing. <laughs> Easy down, difficult up. Let's just roll. And this is in low gear, and I'm not having to do anything. That's how steep this is. We do have one of those cargoes in the way as well, but that's alright. Should be fine. It's been a tough few days. I'm, I'm expecting this one to be a tough one as well. But then once we've got this truck, we're a little bit more secure. We can cover ourselves a little bit better. We can actually transport loads a little bit better we're on our way and then that's pretty much our full fleet for a while no more trucks until we get to Alaska and we'll look to get a, a truck early on there but that's still some way off, we've got a lot of work to do here before I start really thinking about Alaska teasing myself if I think we're getting to Alaska already So we want to get through here. If we can. Under this tree, I believe. Where is our truck? A bit further in. Oh, there she is, under those trees. Hopefully I can get through now. So we'll trigger it and start tracking it. As you can see, it is beaten up. So we shall repair. Now I'm not sure. Oh. But we have to. I think we have to repair it all anyway. I think that's how it works. I might be wrong on that. But I think that's how it works. We have to do everything. Shall we uh, fix ourselves up a bit as well? Pull this trailer out of the way. If we need it, we can come back for it later. The way things are going, there's every chance I'm going to need it. Trying to 
maneuver ourselves around. I'm wondering it might be easier to actually take it out the back. I'm not quite sure what that mud is like, actually. Let's just drive on it. Let's see. What is this like? Oh, that's alright, that is. Yeah, we'll take it out the back. some fuel. We'll probably end up having to refuel ourselves at the top. What's going on? What is going on? We sorted? Sort ourselves out? Okay. Since the P16 doesn't actually go that fast, having the White Western in reverse shouldn't hinder us like it has done in the past with other vehicles. And I think it's going to help us with steering around the, the, the turns as we try and go up the hill. It may not. It might. <laughs> it's always a might. I'm willing to take the chance. And again, if you're someone that likes to go after achievements, this one isn't one to, uh, to try and drag through to a garage. That's the other two. This one is a jobby one. Smack that out of the way a bit. Well, 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 why? 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 Why would you do that? What was that all about? Now, we know we can't recover this. So this is another eight grand recovery because we cannot pull this back over. We've tried many times. That's mad. I have never had that happen here before. What are we even... What are we even, hey? Never mind. Eight grand. It's going to cost me another eight grand because we... Where's the fleet star? Back at base. Everything down in the mud. <laughs> Everything down in the mud. The, uh, the P-16's gone from being an absolute unit to rolling over every opportunity and I don't understand why. Star to the rescue. Not even sure if the fleet will pull it over. We may end up rolling the fleet. But we've got to try before I spend eight, another eight grand. That was crazy. These are the bits where I say it's as uh, relaxing as it is stressful. It just goes from chilled to ruin your day <laughs> in like a second. Oh, we got this. Can't believe it. But 
we got the fuel here as well. well. At least we got fuel. Can't even remember the last time I rolled trucks this often. Having to bring more trucks down and more trucks up means this track just gets worse. I guess at least I'll have something to bring, to bring the repair trailer up with. Swings and roundabouts, you've got to find a silver lining. Like I said before, in the past, all I've ever used is this Fleet Star, and I've done all these jobs with the Fleet Star, no trouble. I haven't a clue what caused that to even roll. Answers on a postcard. You put the all wheel drive on, that'll help. And the diff. And the trick is to try and remain calm. Because it can be infuriating. And it can be embarrassing, but again, it is the game. And like I said before, it took me a long time get used to the idea that this game is about rolling these trucks over. Come on. You know you want to come with me. There we go. not go too far because it might flip over again. Let's get ourselves a lot of some dry land. ourselves up a little bit. There we go. All good. Has it cost us eight grand yet? <laughs> ah, there's still time. There's still time. Good old fleet star. Truck of the year, that is. I'm going to try and use the Beast Heart on every map just to prove that it is still a worthwhile truck. <laughs>
maybe I'll try and tune that up to the nines and that's my recovery drug eventually. So you just have to roll down, readjust, find that spot for traction. Now this is where it gets hard, as if it wasn't harder already, but this is where it gets hard. ourselves over this. Careful here as well. Look at the camber on this. Not friendly at all. Have to rinse that up a little bit for us. was over my winch. Hold on. Need that to try and support me. So try to come around. Nearly there. Come on. somewhere they land. Try and 
change our angle on the camber. Rather than reverse, and I tend to just let off, accelerate a roll back, opposite steer, and then go that way. and start all ours. <laughs> Not quite, we've got to get up to the garage. There's still a little bit of a challenge left. Oh, I'm so pleased that we managed to avoid the, uh, the rescue fees and recovery fees. That would have been a bit much. That would have been like three or four jobs worth of <laughs> income wasted. And we've only completed like one, or one, two contracts in, in the last three days, so not good. Now that we've got our trucks, now we've got our fleet, we can hopefully get to work, complete some contracts. Since I've got the sideboard on the fleet star, I'm going to put a low hitch on the white wrestler when we get back. We'll put a low hitch and we'll put a crane on it. And then we're going to try and head out into Island Lakes and we're going to build some bridges there. We'll get those bridges done. And then we still have a bridge in Drummond Island. There's quite a few steps to making that bridge. I think there's like four, four lots of resources, so we'll then have that one done. And all the maps and all the routes will be open, and we'll be able to crack on with our deliveries. We'll pick off a few individual in-map tasks as well, because there's still quite a few of them about, I think. There we go, what a beauty, it's all yours now, great job. Service. It may have just enough fuel to get it to the fuel uh, trailer. So we're going to need to repair that. That's going to be an expensive repair. It's annoying though, isn't it? Because that's cost more, again, than a completely destroyed Transtar. Whereas this is just bodywork. But we want it to look good at least once. So, customizations. We have... A modification of a popular engine, sport and increased power output, reliability, acceleration, and potential at the cost of fuel efficiency. It doesn't look to make any changes there, though, does it? Huh. We'll leave that be for now. Now, again, I'm not sure about the high range thing. We're good raised naturally. Now that we're raised, we're going to put some better tyres on it. I'd love to get some chains, but can't afford them. Uh, we'll go UOD2s. Sell the others. Diff on there. Your wheel drive on there. I'll rank 12 before we can get that, that'd be handy. Spare wheel. We're not going to put none of them on there, although that would be handy. Am I 
put some repair parts on though. Just for when I do take a ding. Don't think you can have two, unfortunately. If not, I'd put a wheel on as well, but we'll just take some repair parts. Then on the frame, I'm going to put a crane. I'm going to go with a similar crane as to what I've got on the... Is that the one I've got on the Fleet Star? The one that I can paint, just because I like to <laughs> colour coordinate. And we want a low hitch, which I believe should be free. There we are. So we have a rear bumper. We can't take them off, which is a shame. Front side. Extra horn, I'll get rid of that because I don't use it. What I would like is fog lights. See better front bumper, so that's what we're looking at. None of them offer any benefit for us. Exhaust is fine for now. And then there's the cabin protector, which we can have on, still have our crane, and still have our low hitch. Is that a thousand pounds? I don't need to spend though, probably. Should we give it a special paint job or shall we go color coordinated? Do like a bit of orange. Getting into the orange at the minute. I think my stream series has gone orange though, so we might might go blue. And that'll do us. I'm not worried about. Is there one that says I roll? Let's get out there. Let's go do some things. What we got in here? What's that? CK. We could sell that. Don't think I'm going to need it. But yeah, let's leave. fuel in it. on a semi-trailer which I want to take into where does uh, hungry work this goes down here doesn't it yeah, we'll leave that, we'll ignore that for now let's go and do what I said I was going to do we're going to open up some bridges we to make ourselves a bit of money then Keep what we've spent. Well, I didn't put a different gearbox on, did I? Never mind. Next time. Because I wasn't sure about the high range or the off road. But we'll stick with standard for now. It'll be alright. As long as it's got a low gear we can go into, we'll be fine.
finally did it. We finally got the truck. We said we were going to get this truck about four days ago, four or five days ago, probably. Slow process sometimes. You got to get all the things you want and need. Get everything in place. I need to think about where I left my fuel for different things. Sure, won't be the last of our truck rolling. Truck rolling days are just beginning. You have to embrace it. Embrace the rolls. And that's the trailer we want. I think it has enough wood on it for us to open all the bridges. Maybe maybe not all. There may be one that we need to source some wood for, but certainly gonna be a good start. Also, trailer's gonna come in handy for doing other things afterwards. Nice long trailer. If we could put a low hitch on the P16, I'd probably use that. Come. So we now need to come out back past the farm, down over the wooden bridge, and through the swamp. Or what I call the swamp, anyway. And then that'd be where I wish I'd put the off-road gearbox on. <laughs> Should I go back and just put it on? Quickly. said last episode or the episode before that I'd look in investigate in um, the high range gearboxes because I've never really I've never used them, I've just always stuck snow runners and off roads on. But I haven't actually done that yet. Low plus would be nice. Around the farmer's fields is 
usually your better option. If you catch the wrong bit, sometimes you'll uh, sink in some mud, but usually around the fields are much easier than taking any of the tracks. Some little hints and tips along the way. The, the little things I know, we share. hit something. We'd either hit the wall with the truck or hit the trailer on the barrier. But at least if we as we go in through the swamp we'll be able to unload our cargo quite safely in there and that'll make it lighter as we go through. I don't think wood has a massive increase in its weight but it will have an increase in weight. Grab a little bit of fuel out of the Land Rover, that's why it's strategically parked there. We'll empty the camel. And we'll have a bit out of the roof rack, thank you very much. So, the best route. Is it going to be that? Oh, <laughs> the quarry. I just don't like the camera on the quarry, that's the trouble. Really don't like that camera on the quarry. I don't enjoy anything about the quarry. I don't like having to do deliveries here. I don't have to like, don't like have to pick up here. I don't like that we have to drive through it to get elsewhere. at least with a long trailer you've seen that, that little bit more stable perceived stability over actual stability there can be a risk
also let's see how far we can get without the diff lock but it's just gonna have to be a must should have put the gearbox on my fault the first opportunity to get back to the garage we will Again, another one that I've not really used much of, which is crazy, really. I just always fell in love with that fleet star. A slow, lonely job, I tell you. while we're on this slow little journey good time to thank everyone for the support of the series those that are watching and enjoying it thank you very much it's going to be a long one we are going to do every map I have been thinking about map order though and I might approach them a little bit different uh, initially I was thinking we'd just run them all in order of release but, like I've said before, I want to try and have it so mine is a little bit different from others. And I think the best way to have it a little bit different from other people who have already done hard mode series or are doing hard mode series is to do the maps in a different order. So, we're gonna, we're gonna do the initial three in order. The base game, the three base game maps are gonna be in order. And then gonna do a little maybe a little bit of research on maps that I've not played and see which one I think is gonna be best next for us just so we can get some different trucks in our fleet so that we don't hit the same maps as everyone else here with exactly the same vehicles and have to go through the exact same way because we're gonna do that with these first three maps because I don't want to like jump to a map just to collect a truck and then come back and finish what we're doing once we're in them once we're in an area that's where we work and that's what we're doing so i might 
look into some of them, see what's available there, uh, see what we've got. I don't know there's ones with um, productions and construction type stuff, so whether it's worth trying to get to one of them early, so we have something a bit different. So I didn't think, I don't think uh, crafting is what I mean. I don't think crafting came in until sort of season maybe six or seven. I think it was a bit, a bit of a ways down the line. So we don't want to hit a, a map with crafting before we've done the first craft of that, if that makes sense. So we don't want to jump on a later map that's like extremely hard before we've got ourselves some trucks that we would have got a little bit sooner on that would probably help us out there. But I want to try and do it in a different order. Come on, girl, you're nearly there. Again, let me know what you think about that. Also, you know, recommendations as we go along as to where to go next. Be kind. Don't send me somewhere impossible with um, basic trucks. Maybe we'll put some poles out on the community feed or something like that. But, like I say, that is a while away. Because we've got to do the first three. And I, I think it's going to be at least 50 days here. Don't think Alaska is quite as big, but... It's going to be a challenge, so you could be looking at another sort of 40 days there. And then Tamir, I've not even been to. So I haven't got a clue how long that'll take. There's the tunnel. Let's see if we can do a bit of all wheel drive. Let's just go. Did we take that curtain cider through? Sideboard trailer. What's on that sideboard trailer? Metal beams. Did we pull a curtain cider through? I can't remember for the life of me. I think we did. Because it didn't. Ooh, naughty. It's naughty. Sure, we pulled the curtain side through. <clears throat> now this fuel trailer was coming out. So we leave that there. Alright. Off to Island Lake. Deliver to the North Bridge. Is that one? We should have a couple of bridge jobs. So we've bridged in the gap, which is this one. And then we have corporate expansion, which is further over. Then we have Hunter Bob's Bridge, which is probably the one we want to do first. So that's going to require four planks. Is there one that requires just one? Okay, so we will go and do Hunter Bob's Bridge if we come out there, so we want Hunter Bob's Bridge. We're going to do this one first, because that's going to open up the way through into the sawmill that we need to get up and running. There is a trick with uh, Bob's Bridge. You can come down here, I'm going to use my mouse, you can come down here and trigger this one, and it will build this bridge, but then can't get across to trigger that one over here what you need to do is drive around and then build it from this side so you can then drive over there and then you can trigger this one from both ends so that's what we're going to do go around and uh do bob's bridge i have to remember turn right next 
Oh, we're here. Wait, did I bring the curtain cider through? So where's that curtain cider guy? I felt sure there was a curtain cider. Because we need to bring one through for the. Uh, for there. Well, we'll find where it's gone <laughs> when it asks us to bring it, but I thought I'd brought it through. It must still be there on the other map. Should be fuel, we've got plenty of fuel. Getting that mill up and running is a big part of uh, getting Island Lake done, getting these bridges done. Most of what we need is here. We will have to go back and try and find that curtain cider if it's not here. Not the curtain, yeah, the curtain cider. So that might mean that we end up back in, in the dam with the Fleet Star, maybe running the odd little delivery with it. Because we've got hungry workers and stuff like that that need to do it. Now these routes can be an absolute pain in the ass, as we found out in the past. Getting stuck on them. For some reason, island lakes are tougher. You hit one of these, some of these routes that are open out of the ground. You hit a root cluster and it will just stop you dead in your tracks and give you about 10 damage on your engine. Absolute killers. Okay, this is one said one that can be a bit of a nightmare. there that sticks out. Mindful of that one. These are the things you learn from replaying the map like 13 times. <laughs> and as I said before, once we hit anything beyond Alaska, I've got new knowledge. So it will be a completely different experience. It'll be all new for me as well. So that'll be interesting playing the game for four years and then they've played on two maps. Well, that's not true because I've played two um, mod maps. They were fun doing something different. Really hard. One of them was really hard. That was after it was, it was sort of set after a map. I forget it was called or who it was by. It was set as in after like a massive flooding. It was a real challenge. It was fun, but it was a real challenge. Winch C, that's what it should have been called. <laughs> it is tempting to uh, go and get them bridges set up on your way round, but then you not have enough wood to Hunter Bob's Bridge and Hunter Bob's Bridge just opens up the map more like this route that we just took just to travel you know, a few yards is because Hunter Bob's Bridge isn't established I think we did that whole trip in uh, rear wheel drive yep look at that a very Formidable truck is the White Western Star. I know that it's good. It's just one of the ones where I'm just not used to it, just because I, I love the Fleet Star. But we can't risk that now. We have to be an equal opportunities driver. Everyone needs a bit. So that's our first part of the bridge.
second part of the bridge. And our first payment in quite a while. 1,700, 140 on the XP. So, next up. See, to get wood, we need to go back up that way. And we need two for here, two for here, and two for there. So shall we, uh, shall we see if we can make our way up there to get these bridges done. Going to have to do a little turnaround, Bill. I think we'll be fine. We can uh, loop around again. Do we have time? Is our time? Six o'clock. Got two hours. I keep finishing early. Because I was going to do eight till eight. Like, you seven till seven. It's 24 hours. Gives us that extra hour of daylight at the start. While I'm faffing and doing. We still get the same amount of uh, night same length of night in each episode. Now we want six bits of wood. We can carry five, so if we unload this in one of them we should then be able to get everything else that we need. be the easiest to drop off to. Probably bridge in the gap will be the easiest one. Though, to... I pulled the fuel trailer out from up there, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, we'll go bridge in the gap. Let's check to the rear wheel, yeah. Saving us fuel being in rear wheel drive. as we get low there's fuel everywhere here but we are on our own we have not got another truck to bring fuel to and I trying to be clever I moved all the fuel off to the uh, to the main road didn't I Barely touched that, but it's still wrapped all over my wheel. <laughs> right. I'm going to try.
reverse this down there. Now when no one's watching, I'm playing by myself, I do this absolutely no trouble. So I guess it's going to be difficult, difficult for me now. You either have to reverse down or reverse out. I just think it's easy to just reverse down. Unless you've got enough wood on to complete it and then you can drive over the bridge and... Drive over the bridge, loop around, and sort yourself out. But we've only got one piece and we need two. to go, doesn't it? There we go, it's in. How am I for time? Oh, it is 8 o'clock. So that is it. That is where we're finishing off today, guys. We are out here on Island Lake. We've got some bridges to build. So next time out, we'll be collecting up plenty of wood. We'll be building bridges. We'll see if there's anything else we can sort out while we're here with the... Uh, the white western star but hopefully you've enjoyed that one if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are coming live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i'll see you again very soon Bye bye